Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your 40 gate lab environment at home using VMware Workstation. Two years ago, I already made a blog post to show you how to download, how to launch 40 gate VMs in your VMware Workstation. But I didn't make a video, even I made a couple of videos to show you how to create a VPN tunnel and how to create your VPN lab between Palo Alto and FortiGate and between other firewalls. In my blog post, you also can find some other VPN posts regarding FortiGate. In this lab, I'm going to quickly show you how you can get those VM images imported into your VMware and how to launch it. More specifically, I'm going to focus on the how you can create IPsec tunnel between 240 gate and how you can enable BGP and how you can create your VTI tunnel and uh, make your VPN traffic working step by step. So now let's start it. Since my blog post already showed you how you can download the VM, how you can launch it. So in this video, I'm going to make it quick, just using one VM as an example, and show you the whole process. And then we're going to make the environment ready and then starting to work on the VPN apps. So now let's go to your uh, 40 cloud account and you can go to support and then you can start the VM images and you can download it from there. Of course, you need email address to log in. Once you have that, you can go to VM images. You can choose your platform based on what you have. Most likely VMware ESXi is what you need. We are using VMware Workstation to do this lab. So that's what we need here. You can just download it. It's 92 Mac bytes very small once you download it you can extract it and then you can import it on vmware workstation assuming you already download the zip file now you can extract it into a folder so that's all files in that zip file is the one we want need it so now you can go to your VMware, open, you can start to find out your extracted VMware file and open this OVF file, vmd64.ovf, then just agree this license agreement, and then you can uh, decide where you want to put it, let's choose a folder. then import it. It should be very fast. After that, you can edit the virtual machine settings. I don't need 10 interfaces, so I can remove most of them. And I'm going to assign the interface. I'm going to put it into the host only. Host only. That should be enough. That's only change you will need it. One will be in the bridged interface based on our diagram. This is bridged interface when another one is LAN interface. So that's what we need, host only and bridged interface. After that, you can power on your virtual machine. So after one minute, the system should be able to bring you to this login window. You should be able to see your serial number here. Um, the login name is admin, password is empty, so you can enter a new password. So the system is ready. So by default, your bridged interface should be able to get the DHCP IP address from your home router. So now let's take a look at what we got. In here, we got the IP address 2.99. We're going to log in to this 4K gate using 2.99. This IP address we got from DHCP. And then we're going to change it to uh, our diagram's IP address. Okay. 
So this is 2.99, so right away you should be able to use uh, username password, you just set it to log in. There's no license, but we are able to get evaluation license from here. Of course, you need to log into your 40 care where you download your image. So as long as you have account, so I'm going to use my account to log in. Well, license is downloaded successfully. So system is rebooting. We should be able to see this process. Once it's rebooted, we're going to get a evaluation license and then we can use the same admin account login again to view the license. The whole process should be done in both of your FortiGate firewalls. Now our system is rebooting. Based on our diagram, we have IP address 102 and IP address 101. So just configure both FortiGate using the same process, download VM, extract it, import into the VMware, and then get a license from your FortiCare account. So once that's done, you should be able to have working 40 gate firewalls in your lab environment. Let's log in. So once you log in the dashboard, you should be able to see the virtual machine license is evaluation license. To match all the IP settings, we're going to change the IP address to 102. Go to network. This is DHCP interface. We're going to change it to manual. This is 102. I already have 101 set up. After that, log in with 102, this IP address. A couple more things you need to configure DNS. If you want to go to the internet, you want to use your own DNS, that's fine. You can use 40 guard servers as your DNS server. You don't need to change that. But the one thing you need to set up, static route. We don't have static route. We can't go to the internet. We don't have a gateway set up. So the one is the gateway. And you need to have an interface. Port one is the interface. After that, you can do a pin to internet to see how it goes. It should work. In. That's pretty much all basic settings for bring the VNs up and running. So as mentioned, I already configured the lab environment based on this topology. I have two test machines. 240 gate VM and I'm gonna connect them using the IPsec tunnel. But before that, let's do some connectivity testing. As mentioned, I'm using evaluation VM license. So there's a limitation here. If you look at this evaluation VM license documentation, you should be able to see this evaluation license is permanent. It will not expire anymore, but there's some other limitations. Uh, one free evaluation copy per 40 care account. So you need to have multiple account, register multiple one. There are some other limitations, such as low encryption operation, one CPU, two gig RAM maximum, three interfaces, three policies, three routes, no 40 care support, no 40 guard support. Maximum two virtual domains. That's pretty much all limitations, uh, but it usually it's good enough for your lab environment. As mentioned, we already have this topology ready, so we should be able to ping each other on each network. So this is this itself, and I should be able to pin the local this PC. One pin two, one pin two, same thing on this machine I can pin myself I should be also can pin 
a PC machine. Behind that is a uh, two test Windows machine, ten dot one dot one dot two, and ten dot two dot two. So I have forty gig one PC one forty gig two PC two. That's all topologies we are looking at right now. The next step is going to configure IPsec BPM between them. So without IPsec, they can talk each other because routing doesn't go through it well. I didn't have firewall policy, those things to allow them to talk. Now I'm going to create in them with IPsec VPN so they can talk to each other. Since this topology has been created in previous step, we are going to do the VPN. 40 gate has made things really, really easy. They have the wizard dedicated for 40 gate firewall. If you are using both 40 gate firewall to create a VPN tunnel, then for what you need to do is just creating a tunnel, 40 gate one to 40 gate two, side to side tunnel. This is 40 gate remote device, remote IP address. So you can look at here. So since we are on one, then remote IP will be one or two. And it's automatically found the outgoing interface is one one. Pretty sure the key next. A local interface will be our local LAN network, which is LAN2. Remote subnet is 10.2.2.0 slash 24. Next. That's what all you need to do. Same thing on the second 40 gate firewalls. We go to VPN. We use an IPsec VPN tunnel. We're gonna 40 gate two to 40 gate one. And this is remote device. Remote device type is 40 gate. Next. So IP address, remote IP address 192.168. 2.101. You may found the WAN IP pretty sure gate. Just make sure those are same. Next, local interface, which is LAN2, remote subnet 10.1.1.0 slash 24. So that's pretty much everything you need to do. Just uh, create two tunnel using wizard, put the basic information in. You will see this tunnel is not up. Basically, it still shows down because there's no traffic going through them. So that's why it's not going to be up. So first, one thing before we're going to start into testing it, we want to see the changes, what they did. First thing, for that wizard, you, they created the tunnel interface. You will see the tunnel in all traffic. It is route-based VPN, so the traffic will be sent to this interface. This interface can send to IPsec tunnel, and then go into other side. You are gonna see two static routes. The static route shows destination. Anything go to remote, will go into this interface. Other than that, you will see some object, local subnet, remote subnet. And also, of course, some group has been created. IPsec tunnel is here. Remote gateway is dot one o one, two dot one o one. Phase one is up, phase two is down. Same thing on this side as well. So now we're gonna do some testing. We're gonna go to PC two. So as we know. On IP 10.2.2.2. So we're gonna try to pin generate some traffic to bring the tunnel up. So we're gonna try to pin that. The first couple packets won't be able to pass because you will see timeout. After that, you will see magically we can pin it now. Same thing on this one. We're gonna pin 2.2.2 since we are on a PC one. Because tunnel already been built, there's no timeout, not even one packet loss. So that works. 
we can uh, go back to see our tunnel refresh it you will see tunnel is up now magically everything is up and running that's how easy you can see this traffic that is how easy you can see we can create a VPN tunnel between two for the gate gateway you also have a way to add it and see the configuration you also can convert it to custom tunnel and see actual configuration there as well phase two selectors so that's pretty much for all for this video i just show you how to create a 40 k lab and how to play it at home uh, if you like it please give me a thumb up subscribe to my channel to support me if you haven't see you in my next video which you gonna go deep to set up the dynamic routing protocols see you in my next video